Mm. It's like a club show episode. Sick. Wow. So, news? News. What do you think the news is this week, Abby? Well, you're not in New York, are you? I'm not in New York. <laughs> That's the only news you need to know. <laughs> someone's, someone's very sad about it. So what exactly are we doing today, Abby? Well, these, I've drawn out some lovely little cycling kits. Artist. Plus an extra two that wouldn't fit on the <laughs> washing one. <laughs> you want to scream? <laughs> Um, and we're going to rank them from best to worst. So where do you want the best to be? Which end? Uh, this end. Okay. Best over here, worst over here. At the moment, they're just in alphabetical. Alphabetical order. That's the only reason that Agi Duala Mondial is on that end, because that is the worst kit. Let's agree that right from the start. <laughs> Brown shorts, no. Just right. no. Let's dive. Where's right the bin? Let's put it in the bin. That's where da, that one goes. Cute title screen. So, no change for Agitoua Le Mondial again this year. They're wearing the white, blue and brown. What do we think, Abby? I mean, they're alright if they want to go to the toilet, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> um, I suppose that's the only S positive. Skid mark safe. <laughs> Maybe that's what they were thinking, you know? Just, uh, let's uh, chuck that down. Let's just chuck that over there. Yeah. So, Astana. I mean, it's safe. So the the light blue colours of the Kazakhstan flag. I mean, I think it can stay where it is for the time being. It's nothing offensive. It's just blue with some yellow on it. It's just light blue. It is yeah. it is identifiable in the peloton. That's all I can say about that one. Bahrain McLaren. Bahrain McLaren gone for the bold orange and yellow. They're a new team. You will certainly notice that one in the peloton. I think it's quite cool. Interesting asymmetry going on there with the with the pattern colours. Um, I'm not so sure. Not, I mean, the, the design is okay, but I'm not too sure if the colours why, really why work. Why have you got light blue sleeves? I don't know. It doesn't really work doesn't with the rest of it. Blue and black should never be seen. That's not the phrase at all. <laughs> so where are we going to put this on then? Should we leave it where uh, it is at the moment? Well, in, in terms of Astana... If we're saying this is the top one at the moment... Is it better than Astana? I think it's better than Astana because it stands out a bit more. Yeah, Yeah, I think so kind of looks they've they've it's, they're, it's they've stayed safe with this one whereas this one's just a bit more you know right, so hands with peter sagan uh jersey pretty much the same as 2019 the well-known black white and green color scheme i, I like, like this one <laughs> i like this i one. like the boar one i i think that one should go top spot i'm not too sure that this goes with the rest of the kit but i know what, his it's... beard no not his beard <laughs> You don't the, like beards the, anyway. The collar. Oh, the collar. That's his world championship. I, I understand, it? yeah. It's not going to be the same for all of them, but I don't think it really works there. But you, yes. You'd sooner see it on the sleeves. Yeah. yeah. Traditionally, it's worn on the sleeves, but Sagan is always different. But that's definitely the best kit so far. Definitely the best, so let's... So the next kit is... CCC. CCC. Yeah. Orange. So uh, it's the usual orange colours they wore in 2020, and when they were the Polish team before they joined up with BMC. Now, I've always been a fan of an orange kit. My favourite kit of all time is probably the rubber bank orange and blue. Don't ask me why, I just like orange. So, I like orange. Is it better than Bora? I don't think so. I, I'm i not too sure on the yellow bits. I don't think I don't that does any... put the yellow bits in there. No, I don't think it does anything for the, for the kit. But it's better than the Bahrain one. So, you I'd, reckon? I'd put it second. Okay, second it is. So, next we have Cofidis. So, you know, um, Petty Flu Yogurts, the Yo Play logo is like all, <laughs> all I've seen. It just looks like lots of Petty Flu yeah, yogurt like Yogurts. <laughs> I'd leave it where it is. Yeah, I think I'd leave I it where it is. I think we where it is. <laughs> just below a starter. Which moves us on to the Quinnick Quick Step. Nah, it's the little kit, isn't it? It's the little kit. They've got, they got a little ass. <laughs> he looks so happy to be there. <laughs> That's uh, Remco Evanpol who is the up-and-coming, if I've said his name right, the up-and-coming superstar of cycling. You know who they are. There's a lot of logos going on. They are the Wolf Pack. They are the, the team that wins loads. Not a fan. No? No. I think there's just too many logos going on. Like, I know, obviously, they have to do the logos for sponsorship and everything, but there's just a lot. I reckon... Do you think he has a little ass? He's got a little, <laughs> he's got a little ass. <laughs> I reckon somewhere between a star and Cofidis. Yeah, I was going to say, it's better than that one, but not quite the Astana. Is that what you meant? Yeah, I think Astana's more recognisable in the peloton in that blue. 
Whereas I think this one just disappears in the peloton. There's a lot of white and blue. So EF Education First, they had one of the most distinctive cycling kits in the Pro Peloton in 2019, and they will continue with their pink and navy blue design in 2020. Now this one, you know when you see them in the Peloton. Controversial, I really like this kit. I think it looks quite funky. <laughs> I really like this kit. Like, <laughs> it's, you've got patterns going on, you've got the EF just like there. It's just cool. It's, it's... got navy blue shorts, which is the next best to black. Mm -hmm. And you, you know where they are in the Peloton. Where are we putting it? First. First? Okay, let's go for it. First. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Yeah? Exactly you know you're a fan of the Bora. No, I, I understand why, like, it deserves top spot because, I mean, the Bora, it could blend in because it is black, whereas this is definitely going to stand out. There's some out. proper design going into that. <laughs> yeah. That's for certain. Right, so moving on to Groupama FDJ. They're staying true to their French colours. It's a very similar jersey from the 2019 season. It's a cycling kit, isn't it? It's a cycling kit. There's nothing special. It's just French. The stripes are quite still... nice. On, on... They it's... add something to the otherwise it's boring still French colours. Kit. It's middle of the road, isn't it? It's mm. in with Cofidis and Quickstep. Yeah, little. <laughs> I think it's better than this one. I think it's better than Cofidis, yes. Yeah. I mean, looking at that, I think it looks pretty, pretty all right. Compared to... Yeah, let's, let's put um, it in there. So now we're moving on to the Israel Startup Nation. Which is just... Well, should we just say... I mean, it, it's blue and black shorts and a white jersey. It is just a different version of the Trek kit, isn't it? I mean... The Trek kit's just got red. Uh, okay. There's no imagination in it. I think United Arab Emirates is exactly the same, but it's got the United Arab Emirates flag. It's very, very similar to other kits. And from that basis... I think we need to put it right there next to Ajitoire. Really? Oh, okay. I know, for something that's going to be in the Tour de France, you need something with a bit... You need to stand out. And a bit more. And I get it's the Israeli colours, white and blue. There's nothing offensive, it's just bland, which is why I would put it all the way down here. Well, we'll leave it here then. Because, yeah, it's, it's bottom... Because it's bottom so far. That's just... <laughs> <laughs> it's not even on the screen, it's that bad. <laughs> we don't like Ajitoire. <laughs> So moving on to Lotu Sudal, this one here, which is black and red, which are the two best colours on a cycling kit and I, on a bike. I don't know what happened in their photo shoot. They kind of like, was it night time and they needed to get pictures taken? I think it's artistic. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're supposed to be showing off the kit, you need to show off the kit, you know, not have them in pitch black. <laughs> Criticism for the photographer. <laughs> but for the kit, again, there's a lot of logos on there. Mm. Cool kit though. Yeah, um, if it didn't have so many words on. Is it better than FDJ, is that Astana? Mm -hmm. Probably in there, in my opinion. You reckon? In there. I reckon, yeah. You think FDJ is better? I just like the stripes. Okay. Moving on to Mitchell and Scott, mate. Great Scott! The we Australian team. <laughs> yep. It's, uh... No, you really can't do yep. it, you know. You really can't do it, Nixon. You really can't do it. You need to... It's grey and yellow. It's, uh... It's a bit more than yeah. just yellow, though, isn't it? I like Mitchell and Scott. They're a great team. Their behind-the-scenes uh, YouTube videos were brilliant. I, like I, I always wanted game. to be part of this team when you see them on, on YouTube. <laughs> they just they just have so much fun at races. And I really like their kit. I like their kit. It's good. Imagine if, like, it glowed in the dark as well. That would be cool. <laughs> that would be very just cool. Just like a yellow streak. Um, you definitely spot that one in the peloton because you can see those yellow flashes. Mm -hmm. uh, very recognisable. Nice little interesty bit with the... Kind of pixels going on as well, yeah. Yeah, looks superhero-ish, isn't it, down the bottom? Yeah, kind of. Kind of. I reckon. I can't even see where it is. Is it that one? I reckon it's better than this one. In there. In there. In there. I agree. So we got Movistar, which is the the light blue and the black fade in it. Mhm. Mm uh, dark blue, sh dark blue shorts in twenty twenty. They dark blue. Look at. Look at the kit. Look at the kit. <laughs> I preferred their black and green one when they when they had the bl the black and green. It was a dark blue with the green Movistar in it. I think that was a really cool kit. I think this one just looks like Astana, and I often get mixed up when I'm seeing them on the TV with Astana. So... I mean, as a kit, I quite like it. I like the dots, and I think the dark blue goes well with it. And it's got Canyon on it, which gives it a bonus point. <laughs> I I think it's. Better than the Astana kit. You think it's better than the Astana kit? It's just, better than the Astana kit because it's got Canyon written on it. 
what I was gonna go with the point that this is just blue and yellow, but this, you know, you've got you've you got extra you've got extra bits extra to it. Extra design factors. Yeah. Let's go with that. Then. Okay. The next one is NTT Pro Cycling, formerly Dimension Data. Uh, they will become NTT Pro Cycling in twenty twenty, and their cycling kit has changed as a result. <laughs> it's got hands touching the butt. <laughs> They're helping hands because it's Quebec charity, and those are the hands from Quebec. I really like the Team Dimension <laughs> Data kit, the the white, green, and black. Oh, how mature of me. I don't like this. No? I don't. I think... It doesn't know whether it wants to be blue or black. No. I don't think... I think the hands, whilst they're funny, it's clever, because it's a memorable a way of remembering the kit. Like, oh, they're the kit with the hands on the ass. I don't like this one. No? Where are we putting it, then? The box Israel. is here. It's definitely worse than the Israel kit. You reckon? Yeah. Right, I'm going to leave it. Where is it? <laughs> in the right place? <laughs> Ineos. Team Ineos. Not to be confused with Team Sky, as people keep calling them Sky. <laughs> I like the fact they've kept the same kit. Mm -hmm. I really like this kit. I love that red and the, the black fade, and that needs to go near the top. Near the top. I think I do prefer Team Sky's kit, but obviously they're not Team Sky anymore. They need a new kit. And I think it's quite nice. Is it better than Mitchelton Scott? It's better than Bahrain Merida. Where's Bahrain Merida? That's that one. Probably in there. In there. Let's check in it there. in. Mm-hmm. Okay, moving on. Team Yumbo Visma. I like the yellow and black of Yumbo Visma. Um, right Van Art's team. Um, you can definitely see them in the peloton, so that's always a plus. He doesn't really look like he wants to be there. But it's yellow and black. It does remind me of the um, the Team Once kit back in the um, 80s. And I like the fact that Team Once used to change to pink for the Tour de France. So they didn't clash with the yellow jersey. Pink. But these don't. They stick to their yellow jersey. I don't know. And in cycling, yellow is good. Mm, well, Tour de France colours, isn't it? It's normally the leader's jersey. Mm. I reckon it's still in this end somewhere. Well, I think these are bland. I go here then. If you want to put it there. Yeah. Boop. So we're on to Team Sunweb. Team Sunweb. It's a good kit. It's red. The writing on it is quite small, so you can't really see what it says, which I guess is okay because you don't really want to be well. Not okay for the sponsors if they want you to read it, but I think it looks more like um, a football. A kit. football kit. Yeah. Where are we putting it though? Where are we putting it? It's not too dissimilar to. I can hear it. Lotus Sadal. Prefer it over the yellow one. I prefer it over a star and Mother Star, to be honest. Should we separate these two? Because red's somewhere in the middle. Red's better than blue. So if I reckon here and you reckon there, law of averages say it goes Go here. <laughs> right in the middle. Right in the middle. I mean, this one we couldn't fit on the string. This is Trek Segafredo. Uh, they changed their second jersey midway through the 2019 season from a mainly red design to mostly white, and they will stick with the modified version in 2020. He looks. He looks He's like he belongs in a, in a boy band. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I got the colours wrong. I didn't see you colouring any in. Right, so it's not going there. <laughs> it's just... It's bland city again, isn't it? I, just... think, I think it looks very modern and it looks very nice. But as cycling kits go, it is very plain. Bland. Their red and black kit last year was amazing. They reversed the colours and it's not got the same effect. Saying that, if I was asked to cycle for the Trek Sega Fredrick, I would say, <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> just to get a Trek bike. I that think... Trek Redon is amazing. I One of the best bikes in the Peloton. Definitely cast your prime on that. Um, <laughs> uh, I reckon like around here-ish? There. There? Does the kit suit me? Can I get away with pink? Mm. I know what it needs. My name is Jujo Pepe, a sack of educational fast. I come from France. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm with it. He was way too excited to put this on. <laughs> <laughs> you need your hair in a bob, don't you? Hair down more, more feminine. <laughs> Women, am I right? <laughs> Moving on, daughter joke of the week, with the wig on. It was me all this time. 
might have to stress this is, this is for a university project for a superhero I, costume. I she's don't building. just have a wig. <laughs> just it's not around. mine. You do miss it, don't you? No, I don't. I don't. What did the nut say when it was chasing the other nut? I know the answer. It's take six. I don't know, Abby. I'm a cashew. <laughs> so what are we doing next week? Gemma wanted us to make protein bars. If this video gets 20 likes, Dad will be making blindfolded protein bars. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And turn notifications on by hitting the bell. <laughs> we'll see you next week.